We are live. What's up, you guys? What was I gonna do? Oh, yeah. No? y'all. I thought we just jumped off this chair. He's trying to break a leg. What? Playing with boy cat. Hey y'all. It's me. Erica. With Artist Till Death. Oh, um, Get back. They got a bug? Get back. Get back. Um, Get back. welcome to our live show where everything's happening Live, including bugs. Is it a big bug? Yeah. Um. Hi, Diane, Lynn, Heidi, Debbie, Crystal, Swamper, Miss Early, Early, Early. I'm sure I said it wrong. It's gone forever. What? It's like a water bug. There's a giant well, the bug. Do you know the last time one of those was in here was when you did the art thing and it dive bombed me like 17 times? Remember that. Y'all remember that. Anyways, I'm Erica and this is Artist Till Death. Jeff is over there. My co-star is absent because he's trying to figure out what the cats are trying to figure out. Giant water bug. And Kim's in the house helping me with orders today. Um, we're already still up till death. Blah, blah, blah. And we go live every day, usually. And it's at 6 p.m. usually, except for on Tuesdays when it is at 2 p.m. usually. I'm on time today. What's up? And we usually work with resin. Sometimes not resin, but usually resin. Today it's resin. I am going to do a riverboard in rainbow colors for Pride. Happy Pride Month. I think that's all I have to say, except for if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Leave us your thumbs. Mostly these, but if you have to do this, cool. Uh, ow. And share a video or two. We're trying to grow our channel and cannot do it without you. Cue the intro. This is absolutely the cool kids table, Robert, and all of you guys are fans, so therefore you're invited. Let me put my hair up before I get all of the resin in it. Hi, Christina. I'm sure you remember the water bugs having lived in uh, Houston. How's the pup? You don't recognize me with my hair down? Does it look that drastically different? Thanks. Better? Do you look more like me? Afternoon. Nom nom. Patricia in Ireland. Tina, Johnny, Mary, Denise, Christina, Joala. Did I say that right? Probably not. But hi, welcome. Carol, what happened to doing alcohol ink? I didn't have time to prep a board. This one was already prepped. However, I promise swear that I'll do an alcohol ink piece for you guys tomorrow. I'll go ahead and prep the board today. I'm sorry, Carol, I'm so sorry. Uh, but I promise you tomorrow. So doing a river board, it's kind of like doing molds in that you it's hard to 
figure out how much resin you're going to need to fill. Like this isn't a very deep crevice. Cujo lay down. But I mixed about four ounces of resin. What depth are you doing it at? A fourth inch? Yeah, it looks like a fourth inch. Um, I have these boards on my website, artistaldeck.com. I'm going to be mixing quite an array of colors to fill this board because I'm doing Rainbow River. Joala. Is that right? Joala? Joala? Petra, how are you? Love your honesty. I I can't be anything but honest. Especially not with you guys, my fam. I got wrapped up doing orders and lost track of time and just didn't get a board prepped. Prepping a board to do alcohol inks or to do airbrush is the longest process of board prep that we do in our studio. Um, it takes a lot of sanding, a lot of coats. This is a lot of a lot. Actually, I should do this in the river. So I'm gonna be doing rainbow, but I'm gonna also add some sparkle and a wave. At least in my head, that's what I'm about to do. But y'all know resin's gonna resin. So we'll see if, I don't think I mixed enough resin. You would think a 10 inch board with only a fourth inch deep river wouldn't take that much resin, but molds are deceptive as are river pieces. Anytime we have someone come to us and ask about commissioning an actual river table, um, they don't really understand what all goes into it and why it's so expensive. Oh, there's only three ounces, so this will make four ounces. Deep pour calculator. I did not have the foresight to check a deep pour calculator. Foresight? Is that the word? Probably not. Anyways. Um, all is in Allen. Joala. I'm going to get this. I'm determined. If I can't get it right, I'm just going to call you Miss Westervelt, which is very elegant name, by the way. Um, for this, I'm going to be using Just Resin's Diamond Coat, typically. Almost always, I use Stone Coat Epoxy. But since I am doing something that I'm going to do waves on, I am using Diamond Coat from Just Resin. I carry that. All the pigments I'm about to use the board, all of the things on my website, artistaldeath.com. Erica, will you get larger river board panels? Um, I don't know, John, what size were you thinking? It's not Joe Allen, it's Joe Alla. Joe Alla, one day. Miss Westervelt, one day. Miss Westervelt sounds like you own half of Austin. Thank you for the teal shimmer number two. Absolutely. Anytime you guys have a request for colors or products in general, I try my best to get them in our shop for you. What wood are you using on the boards? I don't even know. I didn't build it. I don't build any of my wooden products. I have a builder. 
and I tell him what I need it for and the shape, and then he cuts it and puts it together. I want to say this is like a pine, but I can't be sure. I got it. Sweet. So I went ahead and I stained the wood with a watercolor. Oop. Let me show you what the back looks like so you can see what color it started. It's like that regular boring light sandy tan yellowy color. So I stained it and then I sealed it in with Mod Podge because I don't really have any other sealants and this wood comes untreated so if you don't seal it in you risk getting air bubbles coming through and no matter how much heat or alcohol spritz you put on it the bubbles are coming from the porousness of the wood and as the resin seeps into those areas the air bubbles come through so you really need to seal in your wood pieces 15 by 30 i can absolutely request that from my builder i have to put an order in anyways for more rounds so, let's proceed. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, darker purple for indigo, and then I'm going to have a white. That is a lot for such a little space. Also, I've been getting requests to figure out how certain pieces are done from other artists. Um, I enjoy kind of dissecting pieces and trying to figure out how they were made. That's how my resin journey began because I wanted to learn and nobody would tell me anything. So I had to figure it out on my own. And then that's why I started my YouTube channel so that I can share what I've learned. Because when I started, everything was hush hush, which is for me ridiculous, but I respect artists' right to their process, privacy, or whatever. So, coming up in the next few weeks, I'm going to be trying to decipher, reverse engineer words, um, some pieces that people sent me to try to figure out, which I'm going to try to do with respect to the original artists. So it'll be like an ATD version of those pieces. Why is it not recognized? My pleasure, Mary. So the red I'm going to use, Pink Passion. I'm out of my reds. I got one box of Color Obsession in so far today. The other should be in. Later today. That looks red. Ugh, sorry about that earthquake. Orange, I'm gonna use Ugh, tiger. Hoping it's not too close to the red color, but we'll see. No, it's good. So, what artwork are you guys working on right now? You guys never cease to amaze me with your creativity. Popcorn. All 
All right, Cujo, lay down. Thanks, John. I will wear it down more often, but resin. Okay, red, orange, yellow. Now we're gonna do a green. For the green, I'm gonna use meadow. Oh, that's a lot. Hope that doesn't go too dark. It went from meadow to emerald, but that's okay. Ow. Blue, I don't know where my Bondi is, so we're going to be using Blue Lagoon, which is also a super nice blue. You got some tumblers in progress. I want to do some more tumblers. I haven't, I haven't tumbled in a while. Zach Hess says, hey, I just made a Rainbow River mini charcuterie board with maple pearl last week. That sounds way elegant. Maple pearl. Where do you get your pearls from? Purple, I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna use purple topaz. It is one of my all time favorite colors. Robert's working on trying to get a landscape fire. I think a wave approach, but green instead of sand with earth colors, then going with the sky on top part. That sounds like quite a task. I bet it's going to be stunning. I think I have to go back to doing nails tomorrow, so I need my station for that. I didn't know you did nails. Did I know you did nails? Look how awesome that color is. I love these transparents because they always look like melted Jolly Ranchers. All right, Cujo, lay down. And then I'm going to use a little bit of the purple with a drop of ooh, deep ocean. Indigo. You're a good boy, Miz. Lay down. I need one more drop. I love the transparents because you can mix them together and no matter how many drops you put in, it will always be transparent or translucent. Additionally, I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle into this. I don't want to add too much because I want it to still be transparent. And I was going to just add, I brought over sparkle for every color. But since the tint works just fine, I'm going to add just sparkle, just some Milky Way into each one because the tint will turn the Milky Way sparkle, whatever color is in there. I don't wanna add a lot because I want it to stay translucent or transparent. So I'm gonna put a little bit in at a time and then see if I, I need to build it from there. Painting initials with caterpillars for a client. That sounds fun. Is there going to be 3,500 views on that video? Double K Products. I will check that out, Zach. Um, will you message me the... Can you see the sparkle in that? Maybe not so yet. Funny. Message me the your IG so I can check it out. <laughs> That's not even the one of us finding it. What's in that video? What, what it's just it? you opening the pack. Like, just opening the pack. Hey Sue, 
I'll have your tracking number sent to you soon. Oh, your mom has Alzheimer's? I understand that for sure. My dad didn't have Alzheimer's. He had Parkinson's, but late stage Parkinson's is very... of Alzheimer's, unfortunately. I hope she's doing well, though. You gotta love Milky Way. Um, Zach, I don't think it'll let you post in here, but if you shoot me a, a link in DMs on Facebook or Instagram or wherever, I'd love to see it. to brighten up the color in that, the overhead cam. Just a little bit of sparkle, you guys. It saved me from having to use all those different something, micas. Just use a little bit of Milky Way in your tent. I need to make some white. We're good to apply the color. For my white, I'm using La Res Angel White. It doesn't take a lot at all. Just want just enough to make it opaque. It's not easy when you're doing your best. Definitely isn't easy. My sister, she's in the Air Force. She put in a whole bunch of paperwork to get uh, transferred to the base that's closest to my parents so she could stay home and help. A lot of people recommended a nursing home. My mom was like, not having that. So she quit her job and my sister moved home all to help my dad. Family's the best. Okay. Initially, I was going to have like one of the colors in the middle and then move outward. So like, for example, there would be the darker purple on either side. But I think I'm going to do, which would probably make the most sense. But I think I'm going to start like with red over here and end up with a dark purple over here. This looks like ruby slippers. I'm going to add just a thinnish line at a time. Calm down, Cujo. And then fill it after I get all the colors where I want them to be. Because if I were to pour everything out at one time, it would end up uh, traveling. And we don't want that. I want to fill it. start on this end. Fluffy assistant. My green is traveling a bit much, but it is what it is. Ooh, sorry about that, y'all.
forgot what color I was going after. Blue? Alright. So now that I have all the raw areas filled, I can start, like, my darker purple has kind of disappeared because it was all pushed. So I can start adding more of that back in and it'll push back <laughs> and like reclaim some of the real estate that it lost when I was adding the other colors. Hope that makes sense. Okay. If you were in your spot on time, we wouldn't have to stop so I can get you up on the counter, I mean up on your chair. So, now we have all of our colors in, I can add some heat and the white, the wave. Hey Heather in Sulphur Springs. I used to have a hotel in Sulphur Springs and I had a grown up job. All right. I think I'm going to do a wave on both shorelines. I hope it makes sense because I'm going to be pushing a lot. We'll see. Let's give it a shot. So I'm going to try to run this white right along the edge and make it touch this wall over here. And that is because I want it to hold on to it and then stretch inward. And if I don't make it hug this wall over here, the resin's just gonna move over itself instead of doing what I want it to do. I'm not adding a very thick line of white because I don't want to cover all of the awesome color up. And I did get a little bit, some of it, over. I'm just going to wipe that off. Alright, let's blow this white out. This is the closest attachment I have, so we're going to use this guy. Not as easy I thought it, as I thought it would be, but that's okay. May have to add another line of white, which is also okay. Thanks, Sue. Eli the Wit, what's up? Great name, welcome. So I'm going to put another line of white, and I guess I'm just going to work in sections. Because as I'm pushing it out, some of the air is getting caught, I guess. And so it's looking more like an under, maybe I just need to fill the, let's just fill the thing up a little bit more. I 
I think my white just keeps getting caught on the... Okay. My white keeps getting caught and rolling under because <laughs> it's not full enough. So I'm just gonna add more resin and fill it up completely. Try it again. There's a slight decline on this table, which I'm sure isn't helping. Okay, looks better. Like an undertow, exactly. Right. Now that we have a little bit more full river. Sorry, you guys. Let me get back in frame. Everything's coming back this way. All right, so now I'm going to add my little wave over here. And try again. You guys are trying to do things at home and it's not really working. Don't get discouraged. Just see if you can figure out why it's not working and then make adjustments. Say so what? The resin was made to, to irritate everyone. Right, resin was made to challenge you. Alright, that wave looks a little bit better, so we're going to continue on. I'm not doing the full line because the titanium's heavy and it'll sink. Have an awesome day at work, Sue. Frozen was invented to tempt you and test you. Looks a little bit like fire, but it's fine. I'm gonna try to do the waves on this side from across the river. I feel like the less I move this while it's setting, the better. That wave went all the way across. It'll relax back in though. Thank you.
ਨਹੀਂ ਗੀਤ ਹੈ ਬਤ trying to work with that current might work better from across the way. So let me just see if I can oh I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna try to do that from this side. I'm learning as I go you guys and I'm teaching you guys what I learn. So if I do it on a little bit lower heat and aim for ugh, sorry aim for that ridge it's more likely to push that white outward instead of down. Also, you wanna be careful you don't fill up your river all of the way with your rainbow colors or whatever colors because you have to account for the white you're gonna add. say this isn't what I had in mind but I'm not mad at it at all and I'm learning some new stuff which is also one of my favorite things awesome got a drop this time I gotta move you guys for a second I'm gonna do a true color video for you guys because this just doesn't show the colors that well. It is rough waters for sure. I love the music in your voice when you say thank you. I don't know that I've ever heard that expression put that way, but I love how that sounds. So thank you. Now I'm gonna hear, anyways. I never see you getting mad or frustrated. You have so much patience. I, I have a lot of patience for artwork. I think that's one of my favorite things that my mom taught me is to not stress out about things, to just evaluate what's going on and make a decision, step out smartly, handle it, and if it's not something you can control, then don't worry about it. Because if you can fix it, stressing out isn't gonna help your situation. And if you can't fix it, why waste the energy stressing about it anyways? There's nothing you can do. So that's kind of where my mindset is with artwork, difficult situations, difficult people. Do what I can and not worry about the rest, essentially. The wife just wants to go diving in the water, basically. Titanium heavy and it sinks. If this was a clear piece, it would look super awesome on the backside. So I'm gonna do a 
a true color video. situation on my very aggravated Rainbow River. Aggravated Rainbow River. It's an aggravated Rainbow River. There's a whole lot going on. It's um, it could be rapids. There could be rapids involved. I'm not mad at it. I wish I kept the colors a little bit lighter, but in all, I like it. We'll see how it sets up. Looks like I have a little bit left in terms of room at the ridge that I can utilize on another layer where it's just clear and white. If you are part of ATD's Poor People, nope, over here, right here, doing, doing, doing. then you will see this true color video. Or if you're a part of our TikTok, you can see it. Oh, it's sideways. Can I turn it? No. T C B. There you go. I now know what I will do with my board. Awesome, Tabitha. Thanks for the video. My pleasure, Lynn. Hey, Sharon. How are you today? Rainbow with Attitude might be the name I put on this piece. Yeah, we started the live feed 42 minutes ago. I'm sorry, Sharon, but it'll be posted for replay. Thanks for tuning in, Christina, and everyone else. Hope you have an amazing day. Hope you do something creative. If you do, tag us in it or post it in ATD's Poor People. Doink, doink, doink. Or check it out on our TikTok, which is not on here, but I will probably put it on the TikTok as well. Hey, Laura Taylor. I will. Okay. Let me show you what we did. Come here. It's hard to see, but it actually looks pretty cool IRL. I'm gonna go give Cujo some medicine, help him to feel better. Laura, I hope you had an awesome um, day at work. How's your new pup doing? She's a bird of fur. Hope she's getting along well with your other pups. Are you gonna do a video? Yeah, I'll do it after you're done. It's angry. Oh, that looks fun though. Miss Westervelt, we are happy to be a fan to people. A lot of times people may not come here for the artwork, they come here for the community, which is another one of my favorite parts about doing live feeds is the support we can get and the things we can learn from each other. I think it'll look pretty nice from the other side too. All right, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and seeing what we're up to today. Go out there and make something creative. Take chances. Make mistakes. Get messy. And um, be kind to one another. You never know what someone's going through. And always remember, we do the tests. So you don't have to! <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow at 6 p.m. Central. Bye! I said bye! Be the number. Okay, I'm going to go to the
Even though 